Hi everyone, this is another video of a tech support scam and this one, um, one claiming to be my telephone provider Telstra saying that I have problems with my modem or router and they need to look at it. So I had it set up with uh, Windows Ultimate Boot CD, also known as the Huron Boot CD and I loop booted it up and let them go on it and see what they find. Yeah, it's on. Okay. So what you can do, sir, you can just check on the keyboard on the left hand side, extreme bottom corner. Uh, can you see there is a key called C T R L? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, beside the key, there is a uh, one more key is which is showed as four square window key. Can you see that? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So you just press the window key with your thumb and with the other uh, finger, just press the R key, R as in Roger or Romeo. Okay, yep. All right. So once you press that, you would see there would be a one the window would be coming up where it would be written run and it, in the middle it would be written as type the name of the program. Can you see that? Yeah, I see that. Okay, and um, just below that there is an open panel, it's a blank panel, over there so just type C as in Charlie, yeah. M as in Mother, yeah. and D as in Daniel, it would be CMD. Yeah, okay. And after typing the CMD, just press the OK word play, uh, button, the OK square below the CMD, below the panel. Yes. Are you press it, sir? Yep. So what you can see now? I see a black box. <laughs> a black box, yep, absolutely right. So in that black box, sir, can you see it is written Microsoft Windows and the cursor is just blinking beside your username. Can yep. you see that? Yeah, I see that. Okay. And over there, sir, just type A as in Alpha, S as in Sydney, S as in Sydney once again, O as in Oscar, and C as in Charlie. Okay. It would be appear as ASO. Yep. Okay, and then press the enter key once. Just press the enter key once. And once again, you would see some of the statements are coming. And again, the cursor is just blinking beside your username on the bottom. Can you see that? Yeah, I see that. Yep. And above your username, where the cursor is blinking, just above that, can you see it is written compressed folder? No. No. On the second, on the second uh, line, is it written compressed pull folder or zip winrar zip? Yeah, yeah, I see uh, uh, seven zip dot zip. Got zip dot zip. And zip dot cup. <laughs> okay, zip. Where it is written zip at the end, can you just see above that it, it is written C L S I D in the in the capital? No, I don't see that. No, I don't see that. Like I'm talking about the. Just line above that. Just line above that. It is written Z F S sent to target. Then C L S I D, and then there are some numbers. Nah, I don't see that. Can you just check? The cursor is blinking. Yep. And above that there is a line, and just above that there is one more line, which is the longest line in that statement. Okay, they're all the same line. Just um, zip yep. dot tab repeating all the time. In that line, it is written send to target, then C L S I D. No, I just got um, zip dot zip and zip dot cab all repeating. And above that, sir, uh, I'm talking about the third last line where the cursor is blinking. Just above that, there would be a one small line, and just above that line, there would be a one long line, the biggest line of that box. No, I've just got the same thing repeating all the time. Can you see it's written C L S I D over there in the capital? No. Send to target. Like what you can see, sure. Is it written X Z Win Rar Z Win Rar? Then uh, on the second last line, Z F send to target. No, I've, I've got um, zip dot zip and zip dot cab all repeating line after line. <laughs> There is no CLSID with the starting with triple A D C A C 
DC no. dancing to roll? No. Uh, because that's your uh, customer license ID number, sir, what we are tracking in. Right, well, I don't get that. Okay, no problem. Sir, over there, what you can do, you can just type down E as an echo, where the cursor is blinking. Yep. Just type E as an echo. Yep. After that, B as in Victoria or Victor. Yep. After that, P e as an echo once again. Yeah. Then N as in Nancy or Nelly. Yeah. And T as in Tango or Telstra. Yeah. Then V as in Victoria. Yeah. Then W as in Whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. And R as in Roger. Yeah. Then press the enter key once, just single press on uh, on the enter key. Okay, it just comes up, uh, it's not a recognized or internal or external command. Sorry? It says uh, event viewer is not recognized or as an internal or external command, operable program or both The event viewer is not coming? No. Alright, what you can do, sure, you can just press the window key and the R key then. Yep. Alright, and can you see it is written CMD from the beginning? Yep. Alright, so just delete the CMD, alright. And you can just check, click, type down over there, event, E-V-E-N-T, event. Yep. And then viewer, that is V-W-R. Okay. Without any space. Um, it comes up. And then you can click on OK. Okay, it came up. Uh, Windows cannot find event viewer. Make sure you type the name correctly, then try again. Alright, so might be some mistakes, sir. I might be some the errors in the warnings. That is the reason it is blocking the event viewer. What you can do over there, sir, you can just, just delete that panel, make it empty, and over there just type down www. Yeah. Okay. After that, type Supremo, that is S U P. Yeah. R E, R as in Roger, E as in Echo. Then M as in Mother, O as in Oscar. Yeah. After that, Free, that is F R double E, Free. Then put a dot or a full stop, and then com. That is C O M. And then you just give a click on OK once. And uh, come up. Cannot find. Windows cannot find. Um, make sure you type the name correctly. Might be some spelling mistakes here. Can you just let me know the spellings once again? I got um, www. S U P R E M O F R double E dot com. You can just delete all the things, sir. Actually, there is a spelling mistake. That's the reason why it's happened. You can just delete all the all the uh, letters in that panel. What if I just type it in the address and box in the browser? Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, that came up. Yep. And you can just type down www dot triple w dot. Yeah. After that, S as in Sydney. Yeah, yeah, I've typed it into the address in box in my browser and I've got a website. Um, Supremo. It's asking for remote desktop control. Okay. So can you see the blue uh, blue uh, logo over there where right? it is written Supremo? Yep. Can you see the blue logo over there where right? it is written Supremo? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And over there, sir, there is two small boxes where is one is written download and second one is in a green purchase. Yep. Can you see that? Yeah, I see that. Okay, so you don't need to purchase that, sir. You are one of our registered customer. You don't need to purchase that. Right. Just give a click once on the download. Just single click on download. Okay, so once download. you just give a click on it, you see the uh, on the left hand side of the screen, a small box would be a 
here where it would be telling you like how much time it will take to run su uh, download Supremo. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, it's downloading. And it would be appear as Supremo EXE. Yeah, it's downloading. It's downloading. Yeah. So after download, sir, you just give a click on that when the download is finished. And you would see it would be coming as open or show in folders. Just give a click on open. Okay, it's open. Yep. After you click on open, sir, you see there would be a, a box would be appearing on your monitor screen that whether you want to run it or cancel. Just give a click on run once, a single click on run. Yep. So once you click it, you would see there would be a box coming on in front of your monitor screen where it would be written Supremo on the top and in the middle it is written your data and ID and the password. Can you see that? Oh yeah, I see that. Oh yeah, I see that. Yep. Can you just tell me the nine digit ID that is written over there? Uh, uh, it's a nine yeah, digit ID. With the numbers. Okay, I've got eight seven two. Just a minute, eight seven. Yeah, two eight. Eight seven two eight. One three. One three. One three or nine three? One three. One three. Two four seven. Two four seven. Hello. After one three it is? Yeah. Two four seven. Three four seven? Two. Yeah. Okay, two four seven this yeah. minute. Seven one eight three. Once again, sir. Seven one eight three. Uh, I didn't get that. I didn't get that, sir. Once again. Seven one seven one eight. Uh huh. Three. Seven one eight. After that. Three. Seven one eight three. Uh huh. After seven one eight three. Oh, they want to 
Someone just logged in. Uh, can you just see the Web Supremo icon over there, sir, once again? Yeah. yeah. Can you see the icon? Let's go now. Let's go now. Yeah. Can, like uh, the win, uh, Supremo box, can you see over there? No, it, it, it's someone closed it. Yeah, is it open right now? I'm opening it again. I'm opening it again. Yep, just open it again. It's I believe it's closed. That's the reason why it, uh, it's gone. Okay. Just open it once again, sure. Yeah, it's got the same ID number but a different password. It's a different ID number? Same ID. Like, is it the same ID number or different one? It's the same ID number. It's the same ID number. And the password is same now? It's different. That's a different. Can you just let me know the password now? Zero four. Zero four. Zero four. Zero seven. Zero four three seven. Zero seven. I didn't get that, sir. It is zero four. Yeah, zero seven. Actually, your voice is cutting in and out. Can you tell me once again slowly? It is zero four. Oh seven. Two seven, right? Zero seven. Okay, just give me a moment. Let so me it's, check it. It's zero four zero seven. Okay, zero four zero seven. Yeah. very slow for a long time.
event viewer which is uh, in your system and it was not accepting the command on that particular time. Mm -hmm. So I believe there might be some problem with the operating system, like when did you last update it? Oh, it would be a while ago. Oh, it be a while ago. Like a while ago, alright, no problem, so no rich, no problem. So we will just check that up, like we will, first we will check it that whether it is kind of a system generated issue what we are receiving or it is kind of a hardware issue or not. Just a minute, we will just check it up. It's working very slow, sir. Yeah. Long time, yeah. long time yeah. For a long time you're using it, yeah. okay. I see a, a web page. Yep. And can you do one thing, sir? Uh, from your end, can you just go to your recycle bin? Can you see on your monitor screen your recycle bin? Um, just no, close that page. You can just uh, click on a uh, uh, that page. Just close that page, the web page, and go to the recycle bin. trying to find it. I'll find it. You can't find it. Just mm -hmm. give me a moment, sir. It seemed, uh, today it's been a bit slow, but mm -hmm. normally it's okay. Normally it's okay. Because what I can see here, the net, uh, the speed of your net is fluctuating and, and it is right. going in and out. Right, okay. Uh, Like 
while I was we, they were checking on it, they were just telling me that it was taking a bit long time to go ahead with that, and it is taking a much more time. Can you see that? Like it is working very slow. Yeah. When you are in front of your monitor screen. Yeah. Like they have already clicked it, but it is not responding. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's just open then. to install one and it was giving me a signal like error. Mm -hmm. You're so trying I just to install it, it but it haven't, right? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay.
me, sir. We are just providing you a new um, a browser, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you browse, I, I would suggest you to go through with the Google Chrome because from here you can uh, just check the trusted site and they come like they're getting it affected by junk files and all. Uh, it is also reduced because it's a Google supported and it is trusted by that. So. It, it is one of the good software as well, or good browsing system as well. And you can see, sir, uh, can you see over here the install? It is failing the installation because, mm -hmm. uh, as I told you, that there were some junk files and all. That's the reason why it is affect, affecting it and it is blocking to install it. Right, okay. Just a minute, sir, we are checking it. No, I don't. You don't have? No. Like, it is only one computer you have, right? Right. Okay. No problem. Just let me check it. What we can do for you. Just give me a moment. I'm just passing on to the senior uh, technician over here. All right, he will be just guiding you step by step. Just give me a minute. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello. 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 Yes, yeah, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> yes, yeah, all right. So I'm just trying to check it out for the problems and all. Because in here it's still loading. Just be on a hold. I'm checking it out. Be on a hold, please. Okay.